Hello everybody. This is going to be the third video in the How to Get Faster at the Rubik's Cube series. This video will go over in full detail the To Look OLL section of the Friedrich Method. Due to the fact that you have to learn less algorithms for To Look OLL means that you will need to be applying more than one, as stated in the title of this section, To Look OLL. In One Look OLL, since you only need to look once, you only need to perform one algorithm, which will quite obviously be quite a bit faster. However, TULIC OLL only requires learning an extra seven algorithms if you already know the beginner's method. The outcome of this step will be all of the final color on the top. Most people start with white on the bottom, and so they will have yellow on top, which is what I will be illustrating here. However, if you normally start with orange on the bottom, this step will get all red on the top. So, the two looks in this are edge orientation and corner orientation, done in that order. You will have to learn zero algorithms for edge orientation, and you will have to learn seven for the corner orientation. The seven corner orientation algorithms will always keep the edges in the position that you left them in, which should be all four up. There are only three cases that you can get when trying to orient the top four edges. The first one that I will show you is a bar, which means two opposite edges are oriented correctly, and the other two are not. What you want to do is hold this bar horizontally, just like you would do in the beginner's method, and do the same algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will get you top cross. The next case is a small L, when looked at it this way. What you can do in this case, if you want to be very simple about it, is you can hold it in the top left, and just do that exact same algorithm twice. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and that will get you to this. However, if you want to do it a little bit faster, but very simple, do a U2 to bring it to the front and right positions, and do the exact same algorithm. However, do a small F, which means the both the two layers, rather than just a normal F, which is only one. So do s small f, r, u, r prime, u prime, small f prime. Now we'll get you the top cross in one step. And the final case is no edges oriented correctly, which means you will have what we call a dot. For this case, it is very, very simple. All you have to do is combine the other two. Start off as if you had a horizontal bar, and then go on to the other algorithm, which you have a small l here. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then you'll notice that you have this case, and you can just go into a small f, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And that will get you the top cross. Once you have your top cross, this is where you will start to do the second look of two look OLL. What you do is assess how many corners are facing up, meaning how many corners have yellow on top or your final layer color. In this case, I have none up. There are two cases where you have none up. There are two cases where you have only one up. And there are three cases where you have two of them up and two not up. So, I would like to go in order, starting from least to most, of number of corners up. What you will do with each case, or what you can do with each case, is give it a little name to help you remember it. This one, where you have two here and two here on opposite sides, I call it a car. Why I call it a car, I do not know. It just kind of reminds me of a car. You can give them your own name. So for this case, you want to hold the cube like this, with two facing you and two facing away from you. And you want to do this very simple algorithm. Pretend you have a horizontal bar on the top, and do an F. 
Then do the normal r u r prime u prime three times. r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime r u r prime u prime f prime. And that will get you the full OLL completed, or all four of those corners on the top. There is another algorithm that can be performed much faster than this one, but it is a little harder to memorize, and I will go over that after this video. The only other case with all four corners down, or zero up, is where you have two on the left side, and you have two here. Very easy to tell. I call this one the wagon. Once again, why I call it the wagon, I do not know. This algorithm is very easy to learn, as long as you know the algorithm for the bar and the small l. All you have to do is the small l algorithm, small f, r, u, r prime, u prime, small f prime, followed by the horizontal bar algorithm, regular f, r, u, r prime, u prime, f prime. And that will solve your OLL. Just like the car algorithm, there is another easy algorithm that you can learn, to, and it will be able to be performed much faster. I will also go over that algorithm after this video. Next we will move on to only one corner up. These two algorithms that you will be learning, one for this case and one for the other case, are probably the easiest algorithms you will be learning when you solve the Rubik's Cube. They are the soon and anti-soon. The soon case is where you put the corner facing up in the bottom left, and you have yellow here, here, and here. All you have to do in this case is r, u, r prime, u, r, u2, r prime. The other case, where you only have one up, is the anti-soon, where when you put the corner facing up in the back right, you have yellow here, here, and here. Notice when you're assessing one for one of these two cases, if you put the corner in the bottom left, and you notice that there is not yellow here, you have an anti-soon case. And if it is, then you have a soon case. So when holding it like this, you just do what we would call an inverse of the soon case, which is just the soon case backwards and inverted. R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime very easy to remember. Also, if you want to learn the soon case, you can also hold it with yellow on the front left here. I do not recommend le learning it this way, but you can if you would like to. This algorithm is the mirror of the soon case, meaning instead of doing R U, you're going to be doing L prime U prime. So when holding it like this, L prime U prime L U prime, L prime, U2, L. And that is the anti-soon case. Moving on to the last set of three algorithms for corner orientations is when you have two. This case I call diagonals, because two diagonal ones are flipped up. The only case that you can have when two diagonal ones are not flipped up is here and here. It will look like this, with these. Hold it like this, with yellow on the left and back, and you want to do this algorithm. Small l prime, u prime, l prime, u, r, u prime, l, u. When learning this algorithm, you must remember that l primes go the same direction as r. R goes like this, L prime goes like this. If you were to get them mixed up and say this was an L and this was an L prime, you would mess up the algorithm. Another case for two corners oriented and two corners not is what I call the chameleon. It seems like the eyes are here and here. What you want to do is hold the eyes on the left side and perform this algorithm. Small r, u, r prime, u prime, small r prime, 
f r f prime. As you can see, it solved the cube. However, if you do not want to get confused with the f's, or you wish to perform it faster, instead of doing the small r prime, you can replace it with a small with a normal l. All you have to do is r u small r u r prime u prime. Here is where you instead of doing the small r prime, you do the regular l prime u r u prime. Now that does include a cube or, uh, cube rotation, as you can see. Now yellow is no longer on the top, but when you turn it, it is solved. The very last case with two corners oriented and two not oriented is what I call headlights. You have these two right here, and you hold them on the left side. Now there are many different algorithms, and people prefer different algorithms for different reasons. It either suits their style, they find it easiest to perform, they find it easiest to remember, etc. I'm going to give you this one because it is very easy to perform and only requires R and U. It is rather long, however. What you want to do is when holding them on the left, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R, U, R prime. Very easy to perform and very easy to remember just to show you some examples of how to perform the algorithms. Okay, so you've just finished solving F2L, and you are going to move on to OLL. So those are all the algorithms that you need to learn in order to solve 2LOOK OLL, which is the third out of four steps in the Friedrich method. First you look at your edge orientation case. You have a small L. So, you want to position it in the front and right, like this, and then do the algorithm, small f, r, u, r prime, u prime, small f prime. And that will get all edges oriented correctly, as well as the top cross. Now you move on to your corner orientation. First you notice that you have no corners up, which means you have one of the first two cases I showed you. Then you look for the placement of the yellow on these pieces. In this case, you'll notice that I have two here and two here, which means I have the wagon. All you have to do is the algorithm that I showed you. Small f, r, u, r prime, u prime, small f prime, f, r, u, r prime, u prime, f prime. And that will solve that case. Now one more example. In this case, you have the dot case, where none of the edges are oriented. All you have to do in this case is the algorithm that I showed you, which is the horizontal bar algorithm followed by the small l algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, then small f, R, U, R prime, U prime, small f prime. And that will solve your top cross. Then, you look at your corners, and notice that you only have two oriented correctly. These two are diagonal, of course, so you have the diagonals case. You position it on the left and back, and do the diagonals algorithm. And that is solving the OLL using two-look OLL, which is the third step of the Friedrich method. Now, however, I will be going over two new algorithms that are not as easy to perform as the ones I've already showed you, but can be performed faster. This is not for people who have are first learning the method. This is for people who still want to use this TULIC OLL method, but wish to get a little faster at it. The first one is going to be a new algorithm for the car, which is here and here. What you want to do is instead of holding them like this, you want to hold them like this. And what you want to do is R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U2, R. That can be 
be performed much faster, and we'll solve that case. Next, I would like to go over a better algorithm for solving the wagon case, which is 2 here and 2 here. That algorithm is as follows. R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. That also can be performed much faster than the normal algorithm, which is this. So, the new algorithm once again. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions or comments, please post them in, a, in the comment box below. After learning the Tuluk OLL, you will be required to go on and learn the Tuluk PLL, which is moving the pieces around into their correct spot while keeping the orientation correct. If you know only the Tuluk OLL and not Tuluk PLL, you will not be able to solve the cube. So these two steps, Tuluk OLL and Tuluk PLL, go together. If you want to learn Tuluk PLL, please follow the link in the description to the Tuluk PLL video.